bring those knees nice and wide, mats width. Close the eyes, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose, pressing back, sitting down, hips down onto your heels, melt the chest and the forehead down onto your mat. Relax in here, hanging nice and heavy. Breathing in and out through our nose, throughout our class. This is our Ujjayi Pranayama. This will warm up our body internally and help still the mind. And while you're here, hanging nice and heavy, letting everything just melt down into your mat, go ahead and set your intention for today's class. This could be anything as far as your personal short or long-term goal, or maybe setting some healing or positive vibes to someone who may need them today, or perhaps even to yourself. And just holding on to this intention, keeping it nice and present, throughout class to help motivate you. On the next inhale, press in through the fingertips, lifting the wrists, allowing the stretch to get a little bit deeper, feeling it down your arms and your upper back, the chest melts through a little bit further. And walk those hands over to your right side. Allow the head to relax nice and heavy. You can walk the left hand on top of the right. Or reach the right hand up and around for a bind. Whatever feels good for you. Breathing into the left side of the body. Release those hands. Walk them back to your center. Inhaling and exhale all the way to your left. Opening the right side of the body. Same variation now on this side. So if you walk the hand on top of the other or found a bind, go ahead and move into that variation. Trying to replicate the left and the right side, keeping everything nice and even. Releasing the hands back to center. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise into your tabletop. We're going to lift our right arm to the sky and bring it back up and around like you're swimming through water. Open up the shoulder and lubricating the joints. Switch direction. Nice big circles. Inhale the hand up to the sky, open up the chest, twist it out, and exhale, thread that needle. Right hand through, resting the right cheek on the ground, palm faces down, shoulder stretch. Cap to tabletop, other side. We're going to inhale our left arm to the sky, open it up. And bring it back and around. Nice fluid movements. And reverse. Bring it to the front. Inhale the arm all the way up. Twist the chest open to the sky. Breathe. And exhale, thread it through. Palm faces down, left cheek down, shoulder stretch. Back to tabletop, dancing lion. Now we're doing big hip circles in a clockwards motion. Going as fast or as slow, it feels good for you. Close your eyes and reverse that circle counterclockwise. Hips move to the left. Find some stillness for our cat and cow. We can bring those knees in a little bit together and find that um, hips width. So if you take your two fists together, bring them between your knees, that's your hips width. Stack the hands beneath the shoulders. We'll inhale, tuck the toes under, eye gaze to the sky, open the chest. And exhale, untuck, rounding chin to chest. Two more rounds, inhale. Lift, 
and exhale, round. Last time, inhale, reach, exhale, and round. Back to neutral, wrist stretch. Dial the fingertips back to point at the knees, thumbs to the outsides. Arms nice and straight, you'll exhale and start to lean back, opening the fronts of the wrists. I need this down, relax the neck. Keeping nice and still or adding in some movement, you can shift forward, back, left, right, make little circles, both directions. It's really important to stretch out our wrists. Yoga is a weight-bearing activity, so we want to make sure we're protecting ourselves. And we'll flip the tops of the hands down, keep the elbows bent, and nice and easily, we'll slowly straighten our elbows. If you want a little bit more, you'll lean forward. You can create fists with the hands and then release them. You can add in some movement if that feels good as well. Bring those hands back to normal, shift the weight back in, left and right. Moving into our toe stretch, we'll tuck our toes under. Inhale, sit back onto the heels, stretching out the feet, and we'll stretch out our neck. So we'll exhale, drop the chin down to the chest, and release the hands behind the head, slowly pull down for an extra stretch. Opening the cervical spine, breathe into it. Release the hands, roll right ear to right shoulder. Reaching up and over with the right hand, cupping onto the left ear. And pull down gently for an extra stretch. Release the hand, roll chin back to chest. Now left ear, left shoulder. Left hand reaches up and over, cupping onto the right ear. And gently pulling down for that extra stretch. Release, chin back to chest. Now find your full neck rotations, moving at your own pace. Big circles. And reverse. Two full circles this way. Back to tabletop, release the feet. You can pat them out. And the last part of our warm up is our bird dog. So go ahead and grab the weight in your right hand. We'll always start on the right side and finish through on the left. So we're gonna inhale through the nose, extend the right hand forward and reach the left foot back nice and flexed. One long line. We're holding it nice and steady for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it in and out for eight. Breathe, seven, six, five. You've got this for four, three, two, and one. Hold it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Other side, switch the weight into the left hand, and here we go. We're inhaling through the nose, the left hand nice and strong in front of you, right foot kicks back behind you, flexing that foot, one strong line, looking down, we're holding it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, kick it out for eight. Breathe, seven, six, five. You've got this for four, three, two, and one. Hold it out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Awesome job, that was our warm up. Now we're gonna move into our yoga section. So find that tabletop. This time you're gonna find your tabletop with your knees together to touch. We're gonna tuck our toes under, 
We're gonna round out, puffing out our back, rounding out our tailbone, pressing through the hands and the feet when lifting into our hovering tabletop. So you're floating your knees three inches off the ground, eyes down, we're holding it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your right knee and left. Here we go for eight. Tap. Seven. Tap. Six. Five. Keep going for four. Three. Feel that burn. Two. And one. Awesome job. Keep those knees bent. Press back to the hands for your turbo dog. So stretching out those shoulders, breathing into it, and slowly straighten up legs, right leg and left leg, walking out the dog, taking some deep breaths, and then widen your stance, mats width. Drop those heels, actively drop those heels down. Feel the stretch on the backs of the legs. Keep the right hand planted, reach across and through with the left hand, twisting your downward dog. Continuing to drop those heels down and breathe. Switch it out, left hand plants, right hand reaches across and through, continuing to drop those heels down, feel the stretch. Back to your downward dog. Feet back into your hips width, about that six to eight inches wide. Moving into our rolling spinal waves. So we're gonna inhale, lift the heels, roll forward to your high plank, squeeze the butt, exhale, press it back, downward dog, drop the heels. Two more times, we're inhaling, lifting, rolling forward, high plank, squeeze, Exhale, press it back, downward dog, drop the heels. Last time, really over exaggerate the movements. Exhale, press it back, drop the heels. Awesome job. Keep the left foot where it is, lift the right foot to the sky. Opening the hip here, we're stacking the hips, we're bending, straightening the knee, rolling out the ankle, pointing and flexing the toe, maybe bend the knee, do some hip circles. Whatever feels good. Then we're gonna inhale, pull the right knee through to your nose, hold, and exhale, kick it back to the sky. Inhale, right knee, right tricep, hold. Exhale, kick it back. Inhale, right knee, cross the body to the left, hold. Exhale, kick it back. Two more times, center and back. Right and back, left. And back, last round, center, back, right, back, left, back, hold it center, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant that foot, drop that knee, release the toes, we're in our low lunge. Inhale, walk those hands up, interlace them beneath the knee, on the thigh, just really shift those hips forward, Feeling the stretch all on the left side, allow the hip to open and breathe into it. Inhales, arms up and overhead, doing a little back bend, lifting the chest, eyes to the sky, reaching up and back, breathing through it. Exhale the hands down through your heart center in prayer. Inhale, hook twist. Left elbow outside the right knee. Try to keep those hands right in your center and continue looking over your right shoulder, twisting out the spine and breathing. Now find a non-moving object in the room. This is your drishti, your focal point. Lock your eyes on that object. On your next inhale, tuck the back, left toes, and lift the knee into your lifted, twisted lunge. Keep focusing on an item, breathing, and then reaching through with your hands into your water wheel. You're continuing to twist to the right, eye gaze over those right fingertips. 
sitting lower into the right thigh. Exhale, drop the right hand back, left hand rises for a left side body stretch. Arms down. Inhale, right hand reaches to the front, shifting the weight forward, pressing through those back left toes, for your crescent lines, you're holding it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left arm sweeps back, rotate the left heel down, you're sitting into your warrior two. Nice and steady, strong arms, you're sitting lower into the right thigh, really feel it. Thighs parallel with the ground for three pumping warriors. We're inhaling, straightening everything, hands touch the top. Exhale, bring everything back down. Two more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back down. Last time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior two. Holding it nice and steady. Side angle, forearm to thigh, left hand reaches up and out. Dropping the left hand back, twisting the chest to the sky. Same here, dropping the left hand behind you, creating a bind. Sitting lower into that right thigh. Breathe. Inhale, warrior two, extend those arms. And exalt, left hand down, right hand up and over. Right side body stretch. Your right thigh should be burning. Warrior two. Windmill the hands down, frame the foot. Left foot steps up to meet the right. Inhale, tabletop the spine. Exhale, round it down. Hanging heavy, grab the opposite elbow, swing left and right, side to side. Shaking the head out, yes, no, relaxing the neck. Release the arms, slowly roll all the way to standing. Arms come up and overhead for a back bend. We'll be reaching, opening the heart. Exhale, swan dive it down. Forward fold. Right foot steps back. Left foot follows high plank. Dropping down to your knees or following me for your chaturanga. We're inhaling, high plank. Exhale, little push up chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Awesome job. Now we have the other side. So we're going to keep our right foot planted, left foot lifts. We're opening up this left hip. We can bend and straighten the knee, roll up the ankle, point and flex the toe, hip circles. Then we'll inhale, shift it forward and through, left knee to nose, hold. Exhale, kick it back to the sky. Inhale, left knee, left tricep, hold. Exhale, kick it back. Inhale, left knee, cross the body to the right, hold and kick it back. Two more rounds. Center, back, left, back, right, back. Last time, center, back, left, back, right, back. Hold it center, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant that foot. Drop that knee, toes back behind you. Inhale the hands, interlace them on top of the thigh, and lean into it, opening up the right hip to really breathe. Yes, my heart is actually racing, Melanie. Hopefully yours is too. Inhale those arms up and overhead, slide back, bend. Breathe. Exhale the hands down through heart center in prayer. Inhale, hook twist, right elbow, left knee, twisting all the way, eye gaze to the left, over your left elbow. Now we find our dristy point on this side, something that's not moving in the room, focus, 
on that item. And on your next inhale, tuck the back toes and lift into your lifted, twisted lunge. From here, keep your eye gaze on that item. We'll inhale, extend through the arms, water wheel. Keep twisting to your left, arms nice and strong, sitting nice and deep into that left thigh. And exalt, left hand drops, right hand reaches, right side body opener. Water wheel. Inhale, reach the left hand forward, crescent lunge. Really reach those back, right toes, lean forward. We're holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right hand sweeps back, warrior two. Sitting nice and deep into the left thigh. It's starting to burn at this point, right? We're holding it steady, we're nice and strong, we're warriors. We're inhaling, lifting everything, extending it overhead to touch, and exhale, bring it back down. Two more times, inhale, reach, exhale, back down. Last time, inhale, extend, exhale, warrior two. Side angle, four onto five, reaching up and out, with the right hand, reaching as high as you can through the right fingertips. Allow that right hand to drop back behind you, twisting the chest to the sky, opening your chest. You can allow that right hand to keep dropping behind you for a bind. Sitting lower into that left thigh, nice and parallel with the ground. Breathe through it. Warrior two. And exhale, right hand down, left hand reaches up and over, left side body stretch. Warrior two. And windmill the hands down, frame the foot. Right foot steps up to meet the left. We're inhaling, tabletop spine. Exhale, round it down, forward fold. Give a little bend to the knees and release the hands behind the back, reaching up and over the head for a shoulder stretch. Let the head hang nice and heavy. Relax the neck. Slowly straighten the legs, leaning forward for a hamstring stretch in addition to the shoulder stretch. Breathe. Release the hands. Inhale, slowly roll up to standing for a back bend at the top. Arms reach up and over. Exhale, round it down, swan dive. Left foot steps back. Right foot follows, high plank. Move through your chaturanga at your own pace. Meeting me and your downward dog. No rush, take your time. Now baby step those feet, heel to toe, up to meet your hands. Bend the knees, chest to thighs, arms reach back behind you like you're downhill skiing. Eye gaze is down, we're in our low chair. We're holding it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. High chair, arms up. Knees are together, we're sitting as low as we can, tucking the hips under for eight, seven. Sit lower, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Low chair, last time, chest to thighs for eight, seven, six. Sit lower, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat. Awesome job, that was our yoga. Now we're moving on to our bootay. So we're doing everything on our backs to start and then onto our sides. So if you have your band, put it on now. And we're starting off in a bridge position. So find your back. Your feet are made pretty wide, almost mats width. And our first move are to be hip lifts. So you want to extend your hands out, keep the palms nice and flat for support. So you're going to use your hands to help support you. 
You want to really dig into the feet, keep them firmly pressed into the ground. Well, inhale, lift the hips as high as you can, squeeze your glutes as much as you can at the top. Exhale, round everything back down. Here we go. We're lifting eight and down. Seven, down. Six, really squeeze for five. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Pulse the top for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the hips lifted. Bring your feet together to touch. This will help you balance. We're going to inhale, lift the right foot to the sky. Keep the foot flexed. We're dropping the foot down to hover and up. Here we go for eight, up. Seven, up, six, five, breathe, four, lift those hips higher for three, two, and one. Keep the foot lifted. Now we're pulsing it up and up for eight, seven, six, feel the burn, five, four, three, two, and one, right foot drops. Now we have the other side. We're gonna inhale, lift the left foot to the sky, flex the foot. We're dropping it down to hover and up. Here we go for eight, up, seven, up, six, for five, lift those hips, for four, you've got this, three, two, and one, foot goes up, we're pulsing up and up for eight, seven, six, you've got this, five, four, three, two, and one, drop the foot, drop those hips. Wow, I felt that. Okay, come on to our right side. We're gonna stack our right shoulder over our elbow and plant that right hand nice and firmly, left hand's across the body, also planted to help you balance and support you. So you want to create one long line from your head, shoulders, hips, knees, and feet. And you want to always hover the top foot. So you never really want to let them touch and collapse. You want to keep engaging your thighs. So you want to always lift the top foot, point the top foot, and here we go. So you're going up and down for eight, down. Seven, point the toe, six, really extend out for five, four, three, two, and one, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, keep it hovered. We're doing big circles, we're coming up, and around, here we go, for eight, down, seven, six, five, you've got this for four, three, two, and one, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, keep going for four, three, Two, last one. Oh my gosh, other side. So come on to your left side. You guys are doing great. Extend those legs nice and long. We're stacking our left shoulder over our elbow. Left hand is planted, right hand's across in the front. Planted nice and firmly for support. Stacking our head, shoulders, hips, knees, and feet one long line. We're gonna hover our top foot, point the toe. We're going up and down for eight. Breathe, seven, six, point the toe, five, four, extend out long, three, two, and one, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the foot lifted and hovered. 
We're doing big circles up and around for eight. Breathe. Seven. Six. Five. I know you feel this. Four. Three. Two. And one. Reverse. Eight. Seven. Keep going for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're done. Take that band off. That was our booty part. Moving to our arms. So find a comfortable seated position. Grab those weights. And let's just get into it. We only have like 10 minutes left. That went by pretty fast. So let's keep the elbows in to start. We're doing our bicep curls. We're going up and down for eight. Breathe. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Really squeeze. Three. Two. And one. Pulse it up. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shoulder press up and down for eight. Breathe. Seven. Squeeze it back for six. Five. Keep going for four. Three. Two. And one. Pulse it out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. We have in and out for eight. Breathe. Seven. Nine degree angles for six. Five. Keep going for four. Three. Elbows in. Two and one. Pulse it back. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. We have down. And ups for eight. We're halfway. Seven. Keep going. Six. Five. Four. This is where it burns for three. Two. And one. Little pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to fly it back for eight. Squeeze. Seven. Six, five, keep going for four, three, two, and one. Pulse it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Elbows in. We're serving a platter. Weights together. Out and in for eight. Breathe. Seven, six. You've got this for five. Four, three, two, and one. Pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Skull crushers up and over, down and up for eight. Up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, weights to your side, last one, shoulder rolls up and back for eight, breathe, seven, six, five, reverse, four, to the front, three, two, last one, awesome job, drop those weights, Last section, everyone's favorite, abs. Come on to your forearms, like so, to support yourself. We're gonna inhale with our feet up together, pointed to touch. We're doing big circles with the feet. So we're going down and around to the right for four, down and around to the left for four. I'll demonstrate the first, then you'll join me. Here we go, we have down, and up, here we go, for eight, up, seven, up, six, nice and slow, 
five. Now we reverse to the left for four and up. Three, really reach through the feet for two. Last one. Awesome job. Now those feet, mass width. You can rest the upper body for a second. We're doing our angle tap. So same setup as our hip lifts from before. So our hands are planted, reaching forward. We're gonna inhale, curl up with the head, neck, and shoulders. We're reaching right ankle and left. Here we go for eight. Left, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Rest the head for a second, bend the knees. Create a nice 90 degree angle with the knees and the thighs. Inhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, interlace the hands behind the head. We're doing our toe tap, so we're dropping our toes down to touch as forward as you can, and up. Here you go, for eight, up, seven, nice and slow, six, feel the burn, for five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and one, hold it up. We're adding on for our double crunch. So we're inhaling, crunching elbows to knees. Exhale it down. Here we go for eight. Down. Seven. Nice and slow. Six. Breathe. Five. Four. You've got this. Three. Two. And one. Keep it here. Bicycles. Same position. Right elbow meets left knee, extending and pointing through the opposite leg, and switch. Here we go for eight. Really reach. Seven. Twist. Six. Five. Four. You've got this for three. Two. And one, tiny break, rest the head for a second, lift the feet to the sky. Okay, next we have our, hi baby, single leg switch. So we're gonna keep that crunch position, hands behind the head. We're pointing our toes, legs nice and long, nice and strong. We're dropping our right leg and left. Here we go for eight, switch, seven, curl up, six, Five, nice and long for four, three, two, and one. Keep those legs lifted. Woo! Double leg drop. So keep that crunch, same position. Both legs together, toes pointed. Keeping the back engaged, meeting your mat. We're dropping down and up. Here we go for eight, up. Seven, six, feel the burn for five, four, three, really reach to the feet for two, last one. Awesome job, roll up for our last ab. Then we're gonna stretch it out, we're all done. We're ending like we always do with our boat and canoe. This is our boat. And this is our canoe. We're gonna do four rounds, holding each one for four seconds. We're holding the last canoe for eight seconds to finish. Here we go. Find that boat for four, three, two, one, down four, three, two, one, up four, three, two, one, down four, three, two, one, up four, three, two, one, down four, three, two, last time, four, three, two, one, hold it eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. My abs are on fire. Inhale, reach the hands over the head like you just woke up in the morning, pointing through the toes, reaching through the fingers, stretching in opposite directions. And exhale, hug it in. It's a tiny ball, rocking left and right, massaging the spine. Happy baby. 
Grab the outside blades of the feet, bend the knees, pull the tops of the feet down. Your tailbone is resting on the mat. Staying still, you can rock it left to right. You can extend one or two legs out, whatever feels good for you. Bend those knees back into your chest. Extend the left leg down, keep the right knee hugged in, interlacing the hands beneath the knee or wrapping around with your elbow. Pulling it in a little closer, flexing through both feet, taking some deep cleansing breaths, working our wind removing series. Spinal twist, drop the right knee across the left, right hand extends out. Back to your center. Inhale, right leg reaches to the sky. Walk up the leg, hamstring stretch. And slowly drop everything back down to the earth. I'm just observing for a moment how the right side feels longer and more open than the left. And now we'll hug that left knee into the body, interlacing beneath the knee or wrapping around with the elbow. Flexing through the feet, breathing in, some deep cleansing breaths. And spinal twist, drop the knee across the body to the right, left hand reaches out to the left, Aggies follows for your spinal twist. Back to your center, inhale up the leg, hamstring stretch. Slowly drop it down to the earth. 7.45, I want to do a few more stretches with you guys so you can hang on for a moment. We're going to inhale, reach up with the hands, staff, seated pose. Exhale, reach forward for the feet. Hanging heavy here. Inhale, extend through the spine nice and tall. Exhale, melt it forward, reaching a little bit further. Inhale, last time, extend nice and tall. And exhale, reach the furthest. Slowly roll it up. Soles of the feet to touch. Butterfly position, rock those hips out from underneath you. Peace sign grip around your big toe. Inhale, open the chest, straighten the spine. Exhale, melt forward, straight spine. Reaching forward, you can walk those hands out in front of you. Allow the hips just to open, close the eyes. Walk it back in, crisscross the legs. Inhale, arms up to reach. Exhale, reach forward again. Walking the fingers out in front of you while pulling your hips back in opposite direction. So feeling a nice long stretch down your glutes and your hamstrings is really reaching. Inhale, arms back up. Close the eyes, exhale the hands down to your forehead, controlling your thoughts. Drop the hands down to your lips to control your words. Down to the throat. And down to the heart. And just thanking yourself for dedicating this 45 minutes just to you, for yourself. Being proud of yourself. You're starting a great week. And thank you for joining me. Namaste.